Uh, we are Ball Image, which stands for Building Actual Links to Leadership from Anacostia High Ward 8. My name is Gerald Johnson. I am Shanice Guess. I'm Tyree Richmond. I'm Rashard Walker. I'm Paris Kennedy. I'm Anthony Powell. I'm Anisha Wright. And I'm Amal Wooder. And we stand for Ball. Our vision is to evolve the youth's brilliance, creativity, and a commitment to humanity. Our mission is to develop in the youth a commitment to a peaceful, productive, and satisfying environment. To accomplish our vision and our mission, we have developed a goal to inform students about violence, demonstrate peace, work towards equality, and to connect students in D.C. through leadership. The challenge we are addressing is Eric Dawson's Unleashing the Peace. We had to work with unlikely allies to stop the violence in our communities. Tons of people notice the negative, but when positivity happens, it often goes over their heads and gets unnoticed. Over 76% of new youth commitments in 2014 were violent offenses. These numbers, are only, these numbers only reflect a few, but it's still disheartening because these youths are members of our community. The road we took to reach our goal was to hold a town hall meeting in our school and speak about teen violence. Some portions of the video were recorded, so we invite you to view our video secondhand at the table outside. We had many people from inside our community come to our town hall meetings. Um, we showed such videos, and a lot of the students actually came in and they surprisingly showed how they felt about the videos. A lot of students gave information and they even gave the police advice about how to interact to teens. And the police told us about how, how they had to take out their mindset to actually keep themselves safe and the city safe. In the future, Ball will continue to motivate young people in DC. We will continue to have an annual town hall meeting representing all the wards. We will reach out to local high schools and middle schools to participate in organized nonviolence activities. We will incorporate multimedia outlets just to get the community aware of the positive things that the teens are doing. We will create a bi-weekly platform for the city, students, and staff to participate in a panel discussion where they can voice the topics that are impacting their lives. The partnerships we created or reestablished our War 8 leaders, past school board members, DCTV, parents affected by teen violence, MPD Youth Division, radio station personality, Bezo Foundation, and the Aspen Institute. Without no struggle, there is no progress. I say that because for a while the young people in our community has had a struggle with the reality of violence that lies in their world and community. I challenge everyone here to encourage their peers and acknowledge their peers that are doing good in their community, their school, and just in DC in general. Encouragement goes farther than just telling someone, congratulations, you did a good job. Encouragement is the infuement. It gives us the motivation to keep doing the right thing. And it, and it encourages us to encourage someone else that is not doing the right thing. Students are the spot. Light the fire. Thank you. That was really good. Any questions? Ms. Gonzalez. Can, can you tell us a little bit about how the police reacted to the advice that you provided them? Uh, the police were actually when students, not us, when the students inside the crowd gave them advice, they were very, well, they took down notes and they were very happy to get advice. They were surprised that we even wanted to talk to them. Um, and the police even gave us advice. They were telling us about how, you know, come out to police more calm and more restraint. Um, and the police were just shocked that students our age actually wanted to talk to them and actually had a reason to say, okay, you're just like me, I'm just like you, you had to do your job and I just want to be happy. And they actually cared, they broke down to us, they told us about their stories and how it was just like for them to grow up. T tell me more about the, uh, your radio program that you've talked about in your write-up. I'm what? Right. Okay, yeah. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> well, the radio program was from Angie Ange, 93.9. She comes to our school and she helps with a program called College is Cool, which is also sponsored with 
the modeling team. College is cool is basically they come on Saturdays and they come on Saturdays and they basically they basically advocate for college basically and give them knowledge besides of the known things that college is known for. take questions from the students? <laughs> well, can I, I would just like to thank our coach, Ms. Nicholas, and I would also like to thank Aspen Challenge because this right here is a prime example of the encouragement that you can do for the youth. Yeah. Thank really. you, Anna Costia. Right down this way, sir. Thank you, Ahmad.